What's up guys, Ruben here with Cooley Labs. Today I want to talk about a topic that someone brought up in a comment on one of my videos. The video was how to opt into an NFT. And the commenter had mentioned that they felt it was an excessive or a clunky problem. Now those weren't the exact words, but that was the meaning. And I want to agree with the commenter. I do find it to be a clunky process. When I was uh, when I bought the NFT that I have, which is the Elgo Beast, you know, I was like, oh, this kind of sucks because what I have to first do before I buy it is I have to find the ASA on it, the Algorand Standard Asset ID, and then I have to add this ID, right? I have to say I want to be able to receive it, and then that creates a transaction to my account, and then I can buy it. And so I actually bought it on a different account, and then I sent it to this account. So I had to go ahead and add it on that account first, then I bought it, and then I had to take the ID, add it on this account, and then I had to send it here. So if someone wanted to send me an NFT, they couldn't send it, just send it to me. They would have to tell me the Algorand ASA ID first, I'd have to add it, then they could send it to me. And so it's adding what seems like this, you know, one unnecessary step. And the issue here is, is that we all want convenience and this feels inconvenient, but I do not know a better method than this. And I'm going to tell you why. If I didn't have that step, okay, what would happen if I was on a chain like BSV, Bitcoin Satoshi Vision, and anybody could send me anything? Well, I'm going to tell you what will happen. You will get stuff that you don't want. And that's happened to me on BSV. And BSV community, I hate to say this, but I think it's a smaller community. So, you know, you might be like, no, we're the biggest community out there. I, I really don't know. But I feel like for a chain that seems relatively I, moderate size, I was getting a decent amount of spam. Like people were just dropping stuff into my wallet and I have no idea why. And it's just weird because I couldn't prevent them, right? And so I have to go through and I have to get rid of it. So look at it from that idea. I wanna draw a parallel with email, right? With email, I have two accounts that I use. Well, I have more, but I have two main accounts. And one I use is my Gmail. And in Gmail, you have what's called a centralized authority, it's Google. And Google prevents a ton of spam from coming to my account. So in this account, if I look at my spam folder, it's literally got hundreds if not thousands of messages that Google's filtering out. Not to mention even the messages that they block from either even get into my spam folder, right? That they just block at the highest level of the servers. Um, so they're providing that service. They are a centralized authority. I have another account that I use and I have it under a decentralized service where basically I have to manage it myself. And this one, I don't use it that much. And I don't use that much because as you, if you use it more, you're gonna get more spam. And unfortunately, because it's decentralized, I have to control it. I have to get rid of all that spam on my own. And let me tell you, it's inconvenient, right? Like that is the trade-off with centralized and decentralized. Excuse me, sorry about that. When you have uh, uh, decentralized, it's great because you are in charge, right? There's no centralized authority. There's no Facebook, there's no Apple telling you what's good or what's bad. There's no Tim Cook saying, hey, I'm in control of your privacy. You trust me, right? You don't need another app store because I control your privacy. There's no Facebook Mark Zuckerberg saying, you know, this needs to be fact checked and this doesn't, right? You control everything, right? It's decentralized. But the problem with that is that you control everything. So there's nothing to prevent spam from coming to you, right? Because what's labeled as spam? There's no central authority to say right? What's spammed you may not be spammed to me. And because of that, you would have to go through everything on your own and determine it after the fact. And I don't like that. I personally don't like that. I want to deal with it before the fact. And the only way to deal with it before the fact is to have the ability to opt in. So if I come over here to Solana, I go to manage assets. They're like Solana is, network is like uh, Algorand. You have to opt in. I'm going to just start clicking stuff. Let's see how many of these are real. Not real. I'm just going to click random ones. I know they're not real. There's no supply. There's no website, right? These are just people uh, making stuff for the fun of it, I guess, you know, which you can do. So these are all, you know, imagine once these networks attract. Right now, there aren't uh, many people in blockchain still. You got to realize, you know, if you compare it to something like just email service, billions of people use email. That's why there's so many spammers. 
blockchain isn't quite there. I don't think there's any blockchain that has hundreds of millions of users yet. So imagine once Algorand adopts hundreds of millions of accounts or billions of accounts or Solana does, right? Not only will they have scammers, there's tons of scammers, they're going to have spammers. Spammers target things in mass, right? And so imagine now that I don't have to opt in. Somebody could send me thousands of assets each day. I come to my here and I would have thousands of assets I'd have to go through, right? And I have to delete them or have to deal with them. And I don't want to have to deal with them like that. That would be annoying. So the only way to deal with that, in my, in my opinion, is to deal with it beforehand. Now, if you have an alternative method you can think of, let me know. And I do want to point out something. Algorand does provide a function with the asset where they have verified, right? This verified asset, this is all this is is verified by the foundation. That's a centralized service of the wallet. If I come over to uh, to the Algo Explorer and I look this up, this is not something that's built into the chain. Okay, there's nothing on here that says this is verified. That is a function of the wallet, right? So maybe you could say I would have a wallet that would determine what spam is, right? Which is kind of what that's doing, and that's possible. But then you would have to be checking your spam folder right and then you're giving some power over to a centralized authority right so when i have that verified thing i'm i'm trusting the algorand foundation i do have the option for all of them i don't know a better method in my mind i agree it's clunky but i don't know a better method now some people might say i'm fine with it i'll deal with it and i understand that 100 percent. that's a bug every single time ask me to do that first time i open it watch i'll show you Come here, assets, add new asset, and all. And it will show the disconnect, I guarantee it. I don't know a better method to do this. So if you can think of one, write it down below. We can discuss it. Uh, if you agree with me, let me know. If you don't agree with me, you know, I think the other way is back better, then let me know that too. All you have a great weekend, and I'll see you soon.